Hi guys, Cliff here. Uh, you've watched part one and two by now, hopefully, uh, the building of the wings and tail and the second part building of fuselage. And now it's the third part, which is covering the structure. Um, I'll angle you down in a moment. You can see what color I'm going to do this one. Uh, it looks gorgeous. And I've got green fingers, as they say, so let's get on with it. <laughs> I'm really, here we go. There, transparent green. And I've cut out um, the bottom side of the starboard wing. And now I've got to try and find the edge. I think the um, transparent bit is facing down the most. So it's just a matter of hooking the blade in there. I don't know if it's the heat in here today, it's a very hot day. Let's see if I can turn it over, see if it'll be any easier. Let's just position that. There's a little bit tight front and back there. Okay. Let's start this process. So I've got that set to 115 degrees C. I'm just going to start there. Seems to be sticking. Let's do the opposite side. Let's move down to the tip. Which is hot. This wing is so big you can't actually see everything I'm doing. So I need to move the camera back a little bit. After I've shrunk it, I'll stick it to the servo tray, then I can put the servo in. Let's just work my way around the back end a little bit more. Oh, do you like these on the wings, by the way? Look, the servo hatch covers, it's like a bat shape. <laughs> okay. Snip a couple of darts into there. This goes to show how tacky this is in this hot weather. The thing is, you don't want to get it turning around on itself. So when I've got the when I'm doing the top piece, if this was to go around onto the top, it would probably stick, which is not what you want. Use the curved part of the iron on the top. Little tip for you, which I learned this morning watching the Baron Flight's video covering his triplane wing. Although, in fairness, I think his iron has a more rounded, mine goes down to a point, whereas his is, I think, more rounded. So, his is a little bit better than mine. But I still think it'll work. It's not something I considered before. It's working okay. And that's curled over onto itself there, look. And it's sticking beautifully in this heat. It doesn't matter because it's going to be cut off. But what you tend to find, it pulls the colour off if you're not careful. When I was standing the wing, especially up this side, I was putting the sanding block between the surfaces to emulate the um, direction that the covering is going to go. What I like to do is to go around the very edge because it's such a small amount sticking that there's a possibility that it could 
unstick when I get the heat gun on it or whatever. I decide to go heat gun wise, so by sticking it down now, I know it's not going to move. Okay, so there we have it. That's the bottom done. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do now is to uh, go and cut the top piece and see if we can get that on. I'll come back to you after I've covered it once I get to the shrinking stage. So I'd show you this um, little technique I learned online earlier on and that was to use pegs to hold things down while you're maneuvering and cutting, trimming stuff to size. That was Nick's idea again on um, Baron flights. I've done, I peeled it back to here, pegged it on, and then reached under and pulled, put my hand here, pulled it all the way down, laying it straight onto the structure and discarded the, the backing paper so that guaranteed that nothing was going to turn around the stick. I've given myself plenty of extra on the front here because you do need it when you're pulling it around you really got to pull it so I'm going to start now and attack around the edge and work my way around so I just thought I'd show you about peg technique is brilliant I'm going to tighten it out now and we'll see how it comes up I'm not too worried about I could just do that center section actually just to cut that wrap it around let's turn that back on um, not brilliantly happy with there's a very slight pucker in there, but you're not going to see that in the air. So this is the hardest part to cover, but it will pull out all tight. At least all the others I've done have. So I don't think that'll be a problem. So I'll mount the camera up in the uh, holder and we'll get the hot air um, gun out. The thing to remember when you're doing using the hot air gun is if you actually get the edges hot and it's shrinking, they can pull away. So you have got to keep the hot air away from the edges. Uh, use the iron for that, but we'll give it a go. Quite pleased with how it's looking. So the thing is to remember is to do a bit on each side. So I'll do a bit here, turn it over, do a bit there. All the while, incidentally, make, keeping an eye on the edge. If it starts to pull away, then stop. So I'm not going to get too close to the edge. It's such a big wing, I'm going to try and spread the heat out. a bit on the bottom a bit underneath oh. I want to keep the heat away from the edge by coming in from this angle if I go in from this angle then I'm going to be heating the edge directly There's one, looking mighty fine, and it takes on a whole different life when you got that on. I was worried that this would shrink it down and touch out, but it's okay. So what I can do now is to, well, I'll do, I'll do the other side, but make sure this is stuck down all around, nice and tight, then I can cut that out. And as a precaution, I can even turn it round and stick it down on the inside of the box to stop it pull in just give it a little bit more surface area to stick on so with that guys I'm going to stop there and I'll do to the other side of the wing get the ailerons on hinge and everything and I'll show you a finished wing tomorrow <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video and if you want to become a member hit the little join button down below and see the pokes you get every member it's much appreciated. Cheers, guys. The wing is covered, guys. Uh, looking pretty impressive. I've just stuck the uh, horns, sorry, just stuck the hinges in the ailerons so they're ready to glue into this side. I've also stuck in the control horns. 
and um, cut out the bottom of these servo holes so they're ready to mount the servos. So the wings coming along very nicely. I think you'll agree it's looking pretty big. <laughs> right guys this is a bit of an experiment. Um, I've just stuck this on it looks horrendous at the moment I don't know if it'll pull out because it's got to go from square to round uh, but it's going to be fun to see. See if I if I wrap that around now a little bit, it will stay on. But I don't want it to pull off. But there's not a lot of stuff here that's going to shrink. But this bit might be under might have to put it under quite a bit of tension. So perhaps I will stick it around. If it doesn't pull in, I'll just have to take it off. Uh, let's see if I cut that there. Yeah, cut that into there. got to remain stuck on there really well. Wish me luck guys. Good luck. Clear. I think I'll start doing sort of, I don't know, I, I, I imagine it's going to get so tight here it's going to pull away from there so I'll have to keep my eyes on that and not heat that bit at all actually. Start there, just to start the ball rolling. Working. Well, I'm amazed, but that has actually worked. Look at that. Wow, I'm so pleased about that. It's beautiful, isn't it? Before and after. Done the tail plane. Show you it in a minute went reasonably well. It pulled away a little bit here as I was shrinking it but we'll see I might have to touch that little bit in it's underneath so it's no big deal. That will go on there somewhere like that and glue on and then they'll bend down over the top. I haven't worked out how yet but for now look at that just want to feel it that's very nice indeed, very happy with that. Now all I've got to do is to do the other side and then do the top. Okay. All right, that's the back end done. Still got to make the undercarriage. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Might do a mock up in a minute. See the wing sitting over there. It's the wing that. Looking mighty, mighty impressive. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fiddle with some bits and I'll come back to you very soon. Cheers, guys.